Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, as I promised, I was gonna do an in-depth kitchen tour. So today I'm doing it. I'm gonna show you like close up of the kitchen and what I did with it. Even though this place is kind of like three years old, but I feel that you know uh, what I did with the kitchen is kind of functional. So you guys are free to adapt the look and the everything in this kitchen. So let's get started. So this is the first cabinet here. You can see that we have drawers here and then those are the swing doors and oven. Then all these are the swing doors. And I want to show you that this is not exactly very deep. Just take a look at this box. You know how deep this area is. So on top, we have our glasses, beverage and medication. So the top area, I don't really use it that much. It's too hard to reach. And here is all our power strips. And we have this lighting point that the guy hit the driver here. We used to have all the appliances here. Uh, for example, the rice cooker, electric kettle, and a Nespresso machine. Then we removed all of that because we needed more working top space. So that's the reason why you see this is all empty. We don't even have seasoning here. The seasoning is right on top here. So it's within like an arm reach from where I cook. So when I just need to use the salt and pepper, it is here. And then I can put it right back. So that way the counter is empty. And the reason why we have so many power plugs is because in the event, like if we get more things that we want to use all at one go, we never have to worry about like a shortage of plugs. We don't never have to get like the, what do you call that? Extension cord. So this is the bin right here. And we have an end situation. I don't know if you can see it. And then that is a combat. Then we have ends here, there. So I do like this bin a lot because it has a cap to it. You put the plastic, the ugly looking plastic, and you cap it over, that way you don't see the plastic anymore. So it's not that hideous. And the design goes very well with the tabletop and the walls. So when I put it here, it's on like um, the level where my arm is. So it's very easy to take the trash out, to throw the trash in. I don't have to squat down at all. So I like that this bin is here. So this area, now I use it to sort stuff. This is the induction cooker and this is the hood that I don't really like because sometimes when I'm cooking here and I look up and I hit this thing. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really like it. Just to show you what's inside here. This is like more for storage of things that we don't really use, like the bigger plates for gathering, storage, containers and the glasses. That cabinet it's not usable at all. There are the pipes in there. That is why it is so protruding. And this is a drying rack. I usually wash like my dishes here. Then I put it up there. Once it's dry, I keep it in here. So this is the first drawer. I actually prefer drawers to cabinets uh, if I haven't said so. And yeah my tableware here so it used to be just black and white and then we have more colors now <laughs> and for my pots and pans i purposely make this a lot deeper and wider so that i can put things in easily and retrieve it out easily so these two are like extra space that the guy made for us and then we put like our used plastic bags and some aluminium and ziplocks and trays so this is the oven here i really like the oven like i use it for everything i use it more than the induction and over time the heat from the oven is causing the laminate to pop out so the last cabinet here 
is right below the sink. So this is the area that I don't put any food or anything that we eat from. Because uh, I feel that this area will be damp from the kitchen sink. So we put like all the cleaning stuff, washing stuff here. Next, we are looking at the second cabinet that we built in our second half of the year. Because we felt that like, you know, we don't have enough space. And we want to put like baby powder tins, for example, like those. Yeah. And random stuff. We don't really have space. So that's the reason why we built this cabinet. And we can have more storage and it's more future proof. This side as well. So the main focus of this cabinet is that most of my things that I use is all here. For example, an espresso machine. And then we have a drawer for the coffee capsule. Right now we ran out of it because we haven't been shopping. And then the Singapore coffee. And this is an electric kettle that I boil my water with. A milk frother, this for the cool off water. And um, this is called physics. It actually makes the beer creamier and foamy. So it's really, really cool. I will give you a link to where I got it in Singapore. And this is a sterilizer. Yeah, I kind of put a lot of bottles and things in it. I try to max it out. Then when I'm done, I just press this. It will air dry and sterilize it. Just below this shelf, you see another power strip and plugs for lights so yeah we have a lot of things here and you see that we left with about four empty uh, power plugs power socket that we can use and above this area this is a shelf this shelf is built in a way that you know it cover all the power strip that we don't want to see in the wires so above it we have containers 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 and this is a juicer Oh yeah, the containers is for the baby bottles, then the tissue box, and a wet wipe. So this space gets a little bit messy, that's why I wanted it to be hidden. And we built these doors that you can slot it in like the old TV cabinet. But I think it's not popular these days. And I don't really recommend like this mechanism, because I feel that it's not durable. But I do like it. So this corner here, it used to be my iMac spot but the iMac was really old it's like a 2010 model and we sold it for a nintendo switch and this was for the cap uh the keyboard right below we have drawers and cabinet let me show you the drawers first so the first drawer was going to be for utensils but i haven't got it sorted out and it's been one year or two years this is for Emma stuff. In the future, like, I will put all her things here and she can grab it easily. But right now, it's like more for storage of all the things that she used. And this is all the clean mats that I wash and then I put it back here. So now we have all these child locks installed. And now you're looking at all the appliances that we don't really use daily and we keep it away so that is a 360 grill and then we have a rice cooker and a juicer and then behind it we have a crock pot for my mom passed it to me to make like the goodness and this is a sandwich maker next to it this is a mini pantry so we have a lot of snacks for emma healthy snacks uh, dry goods like the pasta and rice so the last corner in the kitchen area is this uh, we left a lot of space so in the future if you want a bigger fridge there is that option but right now we are using this empty spot for our baby stroller so we never have to fold it and yeah it doesn't get in the way if you put it here for the lights we have uh, this tra track lights and you see that 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 doorbell there okay so the first doorbell that we had the electrician gave it to us it was fully flush to the wall so you don't really see like a casing popping out and then uh, we don't need to paste anything on the wall it was just fully flush 
into that hole that HDB provided for us. So that broke. We got a second one. I thought it's the same, but we couldn't put it in. We needed a casing for it. I'm gonna change back to the old model, so I might do a video on that. I think it's really nicer than the ones that you get. And moving on from the kitchen area, we are right now in the service yard. You can call it the laundry room or utility area if you, if you like. Uh, in this area, I use it for all the washing. So I built a tabletop here. It's very neat. The guy, the guy put like two wooden planks and slot this table slot a tabletop in so it doesn't look like there is anything holding it up. Once I washed my clothes here, I put it in a small basket. The basket's not here right now. Then I put it on this tabletop and I get to hang it on the rack above. So this tabletop actually helped me to make housework a little bit easier. I don't have to bend over so much. Uh, for this dryer, I don't really use it because it takes too long. I feel that 3 hours is a long time and it wastes a lot of electricity. So I use uh, the drying rack if possible. Back to the tabletop. Just gonna show you like what's behind that painting. We have a fake plant here. <laughs> and a real plant. And a plant that is dying. Uh, this is the place that I put all the mittens. And I have all my extra hand towels here. So I find this place very neat. Previously, uh, there were a lot of things going on, like all the detergent and stuff was on the floor. I don't have like a tabletop to work with. So you see a lot of wires hanging around here. So that is the reason why I built this tabletop to make it a little bit more usable and to hide all the mess. And then moving on, this area, you see this cabinet? It's like uh, hanging above the ground. So that area, I put all my mops and pails. These switches, uh, it leads to the vacuum below. We left this space empty and elevated so that you know the robot could be here. It could be parked here and at eye level, you can't really see it. So it's all about hiding stuff. And then uh, more dirty racks here. The iron and then some laundry stuff. This is the second cabinet for laundry. Then we have more clothing lines here. In case like, you don't have enough space. So the first cabinet that you saw, that is about $4,000 because it is quite wide. Compared to this cabinet, this is the second cabinet that I built for $2,400. Uh, because this is a different guy. He is much cheaper than the first guy. But his workmanship is not great. You see that it's very rough, but I don't mind it because over two years, there's already a fair wear and tear on the first cabinet. So this, it doesn't matter. So. For the utility cabinet, that's about 750. The tabletop for the washing area, that is 150. That this guy did. So uh, I was gonna say that you know, like it's not very expensive. I spent eight thousand dollars, but you can have it for like just this two cabinet for six thousand plus. Should be good enough. Of course, you can get it done with a much cheaper carpenter. Uh, that I'm not sure because I didn't really compare costs right at the start. I was so busy doing all these things that yeah, I just wanted to get it done. And yeah, feel free to use my ideas. I'll be very happy that if you use my ideas. And do let me know in the comments below that if you do use my ideas. And of course, if you want to see more things or want to know more, feel free to ask me. I'll be very happy to answer you. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!